Hey what's up guys, it's that kid Jake and today I want to do a quick app review of Magic Window Time Lapse Desktop. So here you have your standard Mac OS X uh, Mountain Lion wallpaper or you may have your own wallpaper that Apple has provided or downloaded it somewhere from the internet. And this time lapse desktop is pretty much a really unique, uh, obviously time lapse desktop wallpaper that really um, has beautiful scenery and just really cool views. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So the app is called Magic Window. So let me open that up here for you. And once it opens, it will display at the background. So let me close this and just show you uh, a one of my favorite scenes. So as you can see here, it's you know in my opinion it looks really great, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but the clouds are moving. It's a time lapse. So as time goes on, it gets darker and things start to change, and that's really cool because you know when you're looking at it right here, it looks like one picture. You know, you come back a few seconds or a few minutes later, and you know it's darker or something like that. And uh, you can also go to this little quick uh, settings bar on the uh, top here, and uh, you can pause it if you want. If you just like that part of the scene, you could pause it. You can also go to full screen just to show you know all of it without the icons in the way. Here you can change the speed. Obviously, the slower you go is going to take up the uh, less CPU, and to go faster is going to take the most. So I'm going to go on fastest for you guys just so you can see the clouds moving a little bit more. And if we go back here, you can change the color effect, like say if you want to go um, black and white or something like that, it changes. And personally, I do not like that, but that's just an example. Uh, so let me get out of that. Here, uh, which is most of you probably will be at, is Scene Browser. Uh, here you can browse through different scenes here, and you have to download each one. And uh, before you download one, you can just click on it and uh, click the little preview here and it shows you the time lapse which is pretty cool so you don't just download it for nothing so you can just see them right there here and they take you know they're only about a hundred uh, megabytes each they're not really that you know uh, high in uh, download capacity so uh, yeah that's really easy and you can uh, when you download them they'll be here and uh, you can just click on each one so here's the Boston Logan Airport here and once I click on it it also changes the background so X out of here and as you can see, um, it gave, gave me a different scene. And as you can tell, the clouds are moving back here. And uh, eventually, you know, it gets darker. You know, you start to see workers and things disappearing and things reappearing, like that little car right there. And it's just really, really cool. I really like this app. They also make it for iPad and iPhone, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm actually going to give it a shot just because the desktop has uh, really impressed me. And uh, I really like it as my background. And I like the options too it's not like you just get like 10 preset and you can just download a lot of them and obviously with these uh, quick settings here you can choose different scenes uh, go to preferences here and you can uh, you know have it you know start up when if you shut down your Mac you, you want it to you know start up with this you can put that on and uh, you can hide this from the desktop or not uh, playback speed, some things that were in the quick settings here, and also make it as your screen screensaver as well. So that is a really cool app that I highly recommend. Today only, I think it's only a dollar ninety nine. I think regularly it's uh, four ninety nine, which is a little bit pricey, but I think it's well worth it. Uh, just because I think they look really great and uh, they're really high definition quality, and you know they're just really unique. So. That was my quick review, guys. Uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can download it in the iTunes store. And uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. So anyways, thanks for watching this video.